So good morning, everybody. It's a great day to be here in Rolla. And uh, we're here for the groundbreaking ceremony of the Innovation Lab here at ST. It's a day that we've all been anxiously awaiting here on this campus. And I know President Choi, Chancellor Ghani, and I are all excited for the opportunities the Innovation Lab will provide for our students. It's my privilege today to welcome you to the groundbreaking of this Innovation Lab. It will be the focal point of our new arrival district and the first building on campus to realize the vision of the Kummer Institute and Fred and June Kummer. That transformational vision is expanding our academic programs and recruitment opportunities in areas of innovation, entrepreneurship, and economic development. We're delighted you have joined us for this milestone event today. Before our speakers begin, I would like to recognize our guests whose support has made this world-class capital project a reality. First, I'm pleased to welcome the members of the Board of Curators of the University of Missouri System. We're delighted our curators recently approved a geothermal energy plant to serve the heating and cooling needs of this sustainable new infrastructure. Would you all please stand and be recognized, curators? Thank you very much. Now I'd also like to recognize some of the uh, local officials here who have uh, joined us today and our community leaders. We have with us um, Mayor Lou Magnitz and City Administrator John Butts. They're out outside the tent there, but welcome Mayor Lou and City Administrator John. Our presiding commissioner, Randy Verkamp, is with us this morning. We also, we also have with us Bill Jenks, who is the uh, chairman of the Rolla Regional Economic Commission. Bill, welcome. Thanks for joining us. We'd also like to thank the members of the Move Rolla Transportation Development District. That program helped us uh, to develop this capital achievement, so we're very grateful to the Transportation Development District as well. would also like to recognize those who extraordinary work is physically bringing this innovation lab to life. From Missouri S&T, Fred Stone, the Director of Design, Construction, and Space Management. Fred, you here? Fred has done such great work. And Pat Liddy, the Project Manager and the entire project team. Pat, thank you. From Dake Wells Architecture, architects Andrew Wells and Renee Sutterer and their entire design team. Thank you all. And from McGowan Gordon Construction, we have Michael Briscoe, Matt Glenn, and the entire team. We're grateful for your work too. And now our ceremony will begin with remarks from Daryl Chapman, Chair of the University of Missouri System Board of Curators. Curator Chapman. Thank you and good morning. It's a great day to be here in Rolla for the groundbreaking ceremony of the Innovation Lab here at s and I know President Troy, Chancellor Dagani, and I are all excited for the opportunities the, innova the Innovation Lab will provide for our students. I want to thank the late Fred Coomer and his wife, June, for their donation toward this project, as well as all those who've given their support. ST is going to be forever changed because of this generosity. The Innovation Lab's incredible resources, like its maker spaces, technology-infused classrooms, and idea labs, all contribute to ST's commitment to providing students with valuable hands-on learning experiences. These students will be immersed in industry standard technology, and ready to step into a job the day that they receive their diplomas. I know I personally cannot wait to see what heights our ingenious, creative students will reach in this lab. Thank you again for joining us. I'll now turn it over to Dr. Troy. Thank you very much, Chair Chapman, and what a glorious day in Rolla, Missouri. And, uh, and this really, today really is a 
day of transformation. It represents a paradigm shift where s and is making a statement that it is going to be a place of excellence for innovation. And this is also a place where the facility, as well as the world-class faculty of Missouri s and are going to enable our students to become the next generation of innovators and entrepreneurs. And they'll create new jobs and new opportunities for the next generation that's gonna come through this incredible university. We already know that Missouri s and creates over $500 million in economic impact each and every year. There's no doubt that this facility and the follow-on facilities after that are going to create even more of an impact from this incredible, incredible university. Just as uh, Chair Chapman said, I am also very grateful for Fred and June Kummer for their confidence in Missouri s and and the University of Missouri system to spearhead this very innovative project. I also want to emphasize that without the relentless drive, the bold vision, and the hard work of Chancellor Mo Dagani, this day would not have been possible. So I'm grateful to you for your leadership. I know it's not easy, but you held true. I also want to recognize Governor Parson, members of the elected, uh, members of the Missouri legislature, as well as our Board of Curators for supporting the important economic development, workforce development, and infrastructure in this university and also universities as part of the University of Missouri system. I can't wait to see what kind of breakthroughs come out of this space, and it's gonna be very exciting. So thank you all for joining us. I now want to introduce Chancellor Mo Degani. Good morning. Thank you, Chair Chapman, and thank you, President Choi. Um, frankly, we've been waiting for this moment for a long time, as you can imagine. And we will be waiting again for the ribbon-cutting ceremonies with all of you, hopefully soon. That will be the moment, of course, since the completed building will mark the physical realization of a dream inspired by Fred and June Comer. I wish he was here to see this moment that he was so, so eager to make sure it will take place. You should know that I met with June on her invitation this last Saturday, and two days from today, this coming Saturday, would have been Fred's 94th birthday. So I say, Fred, Rest in peace, happy birthday, and know that your shadow will cast long and tall in time and in space here at your alma mater that you loved so dearly. Thank you for your generosity. I also would like to thank the entire Board of Curators and President Choi for facilitating, facilitating this moment. Without your approval, we would not have been here at this moment today. Thank you all. Thank you very much. We appreciate the presence of Comer Vanguard students. As you know, uh, buildings and facilities, of course, are an element of the uh, Comer Institute, approved by the Comer Foundation and the Board of Curators. But the Comer's impact has started much earlier, the day he actually made the gift to the university, and we have 462 undergraduate Comer Vanguard scholars, some of whom are on campus. I see some of you. Can I see a show of hand, please? So thank you for being here. So we appreciate your presence here, and um, 
we will hopefully find, you will hopefully find an inclusive facility in this wonderful building that is designed to be a playground for possibility thinkers. I also want to thank our mayor, the Honorable Lou Magdus, who's standing outside of the tent, and our city administrator, John Bolts, county representative, uh, Randy is here as well. I didn't, I didn't see you at first when you came in, Randy. Thank you for coming here. But I must tell you that the mayor uh, and the, uh, the entirety of the city of Rolla have been wonderful working with us. And from the day that I arrived here, they've had a carte blanche invitation to every one of our meetings. And they have reciprocated that. And that collaboration has worked wonderfully. Right behind me, you'll see a four-lane boulevard, brand new, courtesy of the city of Rolla, a gift, frankly, to the university that will bring you off the highway and directly into our wonderful arrival district. Uh, <laughs> next year at this time, this entire place will be a war zone and I'll invite you to, to, to come here. <laughs> um, and of course, we appreciate all the heavy lifting that has been done by our uh, physical plant people, especially Fred Stone that's sitting right here. Fred, thank you. I know how hard you've been working for this moment. I know for sure you've had a few sleepless nights courtesy of this project. Thank you. Um, I am looking forward to breaking ground momentarily and look forward to seeing all of you at the ribbon cutting ceremony in a short 18 months, right here when the building's sitting, right where you, where you are sitting. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Chancellor. And now, we're excited about what we're about to do. Our construction team tells me that uh, they'll be mobilizing in May, starting with the foundation and underground utilities. And their sights are set on a fall 2023 completion date. So get ready, mark your calendars. It's gonna be another great day, a great occasion in Rolla, Missouri. So without further ado, I'd like to ask our designated groundbreakers to please come forward uh, behind the, the shovels here. The moment we've been waiting for has arrived. So let's turn some dirt in three, two, one, go. few official photos here as well so please uh, all of those who have turned the dirt please stay stay in your positions and then we'll we'll get a few photos and then we will dismiss and they're dismissing their refreshments in the back for those who wish to partake so let's get a few photos here <laughs> 